Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. And today we're gonna to be taking a look at mRNA and Pfizer stock. These are two companies that have been running up massively over the last few weeks, but now look to be presenting us with a great opportunity for a trade. So I wanna show you what's going to be happening with these stocks over the next few weeks, as far as what I can see from these charts. And I wanna show you guys a great trade that you can make over the next few days, looking for around 70 to 90% return here just in one week. So as always guys, if you enjoyed the video, Video, don't forget to like and subscribe and check out the links down in the description below so guys mRNA here has been selling off pretty massively over the last few days but now we're seeing them catch a nice break here looking like they can be supported at 139 now as you can see we are pretty red over here in the pre-market but we look to be leaving a wick here in pre-market so that could be a good sign of what's going to be happening during the day here which the market will be opening in around five minutes now the highs that we've seen on this company are at around 170 and i don't think we will be retesting those highs anytime soon but at the very least i think we can get a bounce here over the next few days as you can see this is an area of consolidation for the stock and now that we're seeing this levels i think the stock might consolidate over the next few days before making another move so this could be a great opportunity to catch a bounce now Ultimately, the 200 EMA is holding this stock up right now, but if the stock does come below the 200 EMA, I'm going to be entering more puts than the ones I have already. I didn't mention this stock on the Discord because it's been moving already massively, but I think there's a lot of opportunity still with this company because if they do break below the 200 EMA here, their next resistance is where these wicks end at around 129, but if they come below this 129 level, there's nothing stopping them from here all the way to 100. So I think 100 is going to be the mental number that traders have in their head as a stop for mRNA and ultimately a point to buy basically a reversal of all the price data that we've had over the last few months so if it does come back to 100 that would be pretty insane because that would mean that traders completely got rid of all the the hype and all the value that the company had added on from releasing the COVID vaccine. So watch for this 129 level to be extremely critical in showing us whether these companies can stay in an upwards direction or if they will break down. So what I'm saying here, guys, if we see a bounce today, look for levels of around 149 to be our next resistance before we can break to all higher prices. If we do break to higher prices and ultimately look to 129 to be the price to watch if we are going to continue to the downside more. So now if we take a look at Pfizer here, you can see that they are pretty much the same way but a lot more sold off and they are very close to their resistance price here or sorry support price here at around $37. Now I think they can sell off further than $37 and I'm looking to make a pretty good trade here around 35 which is where I see a lot of times where the stock reversed prices here over the last few days. So those are just four times the ones I just pointed out and you can see that the stock has bounced pretty well at that price. So I'm hoping that buyers can step in and that's ultimately where I'll be creating a new share position on on Pfizer. I don't really like them that much for options because they aren't traditionally a big mover and you can see that their price action, it hasn't been that massive even with the coronavirus news. They're only up around $10 and compared to Myrna, Myrna is up around $100. So that's absolutely ma a massive difference and that's why I prefer Myrna for a trade here and why I think that they can still have more selling even though they are worth a lot more. And I think Pfizer is going to be cooling down over the next few days instead of moving heavily, but I still look to buy them around $35. So those are gonna be my targets for the next few days, guys. Don't sleep on these stocks. They still have a lot of opportunity left, even though they have already moved just a little bit. So as always, guys, if you have enjoyed the video, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you guys so much for 1,300 subscribers. The channel is growing massively. As always, guys, I hope all your trades are in the green. Thank you very much.